Hey guys, Dello304 here, and um, this is a little while um, away from unboxing the package from Jonathan. And uh, I tried both of the Pentium Ds. Turns out the 915 does not work. I tried everything. I tried reseeding it. I tried, you know, I just freaking turned it on. Um, I have the latest BIOS revision for this computer or whatever. I have all that stuff. The, it supports up like to a 960, so I don't understand why it doesn't work. But, uh, yeah, luckily, he was nice enough to send me two of them, an 820 and a 915, so I have to use the 820. It only has the same amount of cache as my Pentium 4, same processor speed as the older one. It's the same, pretty much. It's 2.8 gigahertz, it's uh, 2 megs of cache, and 800 megahertz bus speed. So it's the exact same thing as my previous one. So my previous Pentium 4 was a 3.4, but the one before that was a 2.8, so you get the idea anyway. At least it's dual core now, like legitimately dual core, so um, it does work. I've already verified this. Uh, as you can see, I have the nice Pentium D logo, which is cool. Um, yeah, so while the nicer 4 megabyte of cache, uh, you know, Pentium D did not work in this thing. The 820 does, and then that's that's fine. It's dual core. It works, and yeah. So now this computer is dual core, uh, along with my two i3 machines. Custom built's doing well, by the way. Um, yeah, so there it is. Just have it over there using my 14Z. I'm not really using that much anymore. But uh, yeah. Anyway, that's just a really quick update on the GX620. I'm now running uh, Pentium D. It's taking a while to log in. I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just wait until it logs in and shit. I don't know why the hell it's taking so long. Damn. There we go. Okay, there we go. I don't have speakers on this thing anymore. As you can see, they're gone. They're over there. But, uh, yeah. Still have a little, tiny little internal speaker, but it, it's not very good. Uh, but that's fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into my computer. Seems slower for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, it's installing the processor. That's why it's detecting it and shit. But yeah. My Windows Experience Index needs to be refreshed. We have a Pentium D 2.8. Which, it's technically better than the other one. Just a uh, 400 megahertz less of a clock speed. But it's fine. Clock speed isn't everything. Uh, so previously, I got a 4.4, so let's see what it goes to. Um, so yeah, we now now we have legitimate, legitimate dual core in this uh, pro, er, CPU in this computer. So yeah, so now all my computers are dual core, except for the D600 down there and the EC, or well that that one's dual core. Everyone except the EC, uh, the D600 is dual core. So yeah. assessing CPU performance. Mm, I wonder uh, I wonder if I can go into task manager while this thing's running. Yeah, I can. Just want to show you guys the performance thing. Bam! Two graphs. So now we have dual core age. So yeah. So yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, this thing now has a Pentium D, like I said, Pentium D820. Um, what's in the crap? It has three gigs of RAM and it has a 40 gig 7200 RPM hard drive so this is a pretty good GX620 so yeah I don't really know what else to talk about um, I guess I can thank Jonathan once again um, he sent me this optical drive here um, for my Dell Optiplex GX260 because this is an IDE CD or DVD RW so yeah I can burn discs in my old GX620 so, yeah. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it is IDE, like I said. So that's pretty sweet. I can burn discs in my old GX260 now. It has a CD-ROM in there currently, so... Yeah, that's kind of strange. The drive is kind of open. Hmm. can pull it open, huh? It's weird. Hi, Lucas. How you doing? How you doing, huh? Want to join the party? Okay, so it rose up one score. Wow. One, one decimal point. It's a 4.5 now instead of a 4.4. So, it's kind of weird. But yeah. Alright, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, like that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, yeah, see you later. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Yes, yes. Yes, I know. Yeah.